Alright, what's going on guys? It's Allman. Welcome back to another Call of Duty Modern Warfare video. Hope you guys enjoyed that new outro that I posted out yesterday, um, and the new video and everything like that. Hope you guys have been enjoying all the new content coming through for the past few days. Um, appreciate all the love and support that I've been getting. Hopefully we can reach 500 subs. So make sure you do leave a like on this video. Make sure you do subscribe. Helps me as a content creator. And let's get into this video. So in today's video, we're going to be talking over a uh, new Bison class setup that I've been using. Um, I just want to talk about it because um, Rev, if you guys don't know who Rev is, uh, number one player on Xbox, um, he helped me out build a new bison class setup and this is the one that he uses he tweaks it here and there but um this is the one that he recommended to me uh because he knows like um you know fast place playing and everything like that it's perfect for shipment especially on hardcore uh some people don't even like hardcore some people do it's just a personal preference uh but for me uh, and how i play i like um i definitely like using this bison um i might tweak it here and there a little bit but other than that purely clean um it's pretty fun to use uh, they're also in the shop. There's like new bundles and stuff like that. So make sure you do go check those out I'm looking at those right now as, as I'm like recording um, There's also like a tracer pack pink which I'm and it's an anime sniper, but in reality, it's not an anime sniper It's just uh, you know the FAMAS. I think it looks like it looks like a FAMAS or something um, Yeah, it's a FAMAS with like pink tracers and stuff like that. It's just yeah they, they, Why is it called sniper if it doesn't have sniper? You know what I mean? But um Yeah, so there's a lot of cool stuff that they've been adding um, over and over pretty cool all that type of jazz but yeah um so the class setup i'm using is obviously a bison like i said perk wise you guys run whatever you guys want for shipment if you guys right want to run right shoulder in your guys back definitely run that um no judge some people say you're sweat if you run a uh, right shoulder on your back but obviously to me it's like bro i get spawn trapped every time so i mean to me um right shields are fine like they're fine with me like i it's not a big issue that's why i don't run ghost particularly in this class setup um because it's shipment, you know, and shipment is going to be disappearing, I think, soon, or has it already disappeared? No, it's still here, as of today, I think today's Tuesday, um, the, well, the day I'm recording this, yeah, it's Tuesday, so shipment's still here for another week, I'm assuming, or it's still here for however long, but, um, doesn't look like we had a playlist update, well, I think we did, maybe, I think we low, yeah, we low-key did have a playlist update, uh, so we do have a blueprint, uh, gunfight we also have face off reinforce reinfected ground war which is actually a pretty fun green mode um and then shoot the ship which is still here which i kind of like and then the tournament is still going on if you guys want to get that brewing class setup um everything like that so let's get into the class setup for the um the variant i'm using so i'm using the toxic remains variant if you guys want to know how to unlock that variant um i'll definitely have um a video showing out i think i have a video already it's called like the to new variant toxic remains it's probably one of my most viewed videos on my channel so if you guys want to know how to unlock this specific variant um you guys can go check out that video because uh, a lot of people do ask me here and there so class setup he told me to run was monolithic suppressor um just because the damage range and i mean sure you do get sound suppression but but doesn't mean shit on shipment um so that's why he gets the damage range the 8.7 steel because i guess um obviously he wants the recoil control he wants the bullet velocity he wants to increase damage range as well so it's basically a one shot almost at every range um and then the tag laser because you um ads speed i mean if you guys are more of like a hip fire type person sure five mil laser but i'm using tag laser for the particular setup that he told me uh no stock for the movement because we do slide cancel a lot and we do slide here and there um so that does come in clutch then we do have stipple grip take for the ads speed and the sprinter fire speed um he said that he does take off i think it was stipple grip take for the either the 84 heli or 84 rounds basically um he doesn't run an optic and he doesn't run a perk so i think he switches between these two and the stock is just you know usually that when i used to use the setup i used to run a corvus uh, custom stock i used to run um uh gi mini reflex i used to run tag laser um and then i would run like stipple grip take i think and then like sleight of hand so, like those, those would be like my five so i'd have tag, like tag laser um red dot site basically no stock stipple grip take and then sleight of hand that was my setup but this is a setup that he told me to use so i would just been testing out here and there um but it was actually a pretty fun class setup to use um i dropped a few kills here and there um I just have some gameplay with Rev. You guys will see gameplay uh, with me and Rev in the background. Uh, we record like multiple gameplays, so that's all just like, you know, I'll just toss that in, in the background so you guys will see that as well. Um, but I run a ride shield in my bag. You guys don't have to run that. Um, like I said, that's up to you guys. Perk wise, EOD, overkill, and amp for me. You guys can definitely run Ghost if you guys don't want to run, you know, a ride shield or run whatever you guys like, like um, um, higher maybe or, or like a restock. That's up to you guys, like I said. Um, but C4 and stuns, that's just what I use. You guys can definitely run. Um, 
thermites if you guys want i mean i usually switch between that if i see riot shields bound then for sure thermites but if i don't i usually run c4s and just like c4 across the across the containers it does come in clutch here and there so that's why i run uh, c4s stuns because um a lot of people just stun spam at the beginning so it's like i gotta do i gotta just if you can't beat them join them type of deal so that's the class setup i particularly am running for this um Bison class set that he gave me. I just tweaked it here and there with the se secondaries, but the main setup is the Bison, like I said. So that's what he told me to use. It's good for hardcore, um, especially if you know the spawns, if you know the if you know the sway of the map, um, stuff like that. So it does really come in clutch, um, especially if you guys are running like um, streaks that do give you UAVs, like uh, UAVs, maybe recons, um, advanced UAV. And then he runs VTOL. So usually his setup is, um, I think it's like UAV, VTOL, and then advanced. Uh, because he's trying to go for score. So that makes particular, like really makes sense. So I would definitely, if you guys are trying to pick up your score a bit, definitely go do that. I think I'm still like roughly, I haven't played it in a few minutes. So because I've been make, like posting this content stuff like that for a bit. So um, and plus college, like I said. So usually I just try to get as much gameplay as I possibly can instead of just me talking so much so you guys will definitely be seeing gameplay and stuff like that um throughout the video but uh that was the main class setup just straight up bison really fun to use like I said um like I said you, if you don't want to run the simple grip take if you feel like you don't need it you feel like the ADS is fine and stuff like that then switch over to the 84 round mags that's definitely like a uh, really good if you if you know that you're gonna be spamming out that many bullets and you know that you know the spawns pretty well um you know you can definitely spawn trap them because rev definitely does he literally <laughs> would just like slide throughout the map and just keep killing them over and over it was crazy so now you'll be seeing that throughout the gameplay and stuff like that you'll be seeing the feeds that he drops everything like that uh man's always on top of the board uh gotta give him props for that too um but other than that that's that's basically what the you know that's what this class setup is uh but now for the rest of the video i just want to talk about the channel and everything like that so if you guys still want to watch the video for me talking or if you already got the class setup um you, you can sure to click off or whatever you want to stay till the end make sure you do stay to the end as well but um uh youtube wise uh channel wise hope you guys enjoyed the banner like i said like i talked about in my previous video the banner looks sick i really appreciate it um i did some tweaking it used to be like a board combat logo i used to have like um apex legends I think I had something else. Um, I think it was like a sniper, but uh, I switched it over to um, Captain Price, Captain or um, Captain Price Woods, the Modern Warfare 2, and then I think uh, Spectre from Black Ops 4 because I really like him and his like whole ideal like samurai type of deal, his swords. Like I love that stuff. So that, that's just me though. So um, that's why I just chose those four. I mean, I definitely could. I know it doesn't like it fits on your phone and stuff like that, but if you're like popping up on a desktop or TV, there's like a lot of free space. So I'm, what I might do in my spare time, I might inc like um, edit those so I can add two more additional photos on the left side and the right side, so more people can see uh, the photos and stuff like that. So I might do that when I get the chance. But hope you guys have been enjoying the outro too. Um, uh, it looks clean. It looks more modern instead of it just being like more of a animation type of deal that just like sat there and just moved up and down. It's more of like actually you can see the text and everything like that. Uh, the music sick too. Um, I might put that in my intro. I don't. I haven't decided yet because in my intro song I don't know. I don't know where my intro song is from. Like that. That's why. That's the only thing I'm like wary about because the thing is if I don't know where it's at, like what's the song, I can easily get copyrighted for it. So that's why I might switch over to my outro song and put that in my intro as well. But um uh we'll see i just have or i might find like a different song for my intro i haven't really decided and the same thing for the music i use throughout my video i i went to that i have it in my description but that youtube link or that person that uploaded that i don't think their channel exists anymore or they deleted it or something like that so i don't know if i should still use that music um throughout my videos you guys let me know in the comments or you guys want me to switch it up definitely will but um that's all i really want to talk about just straightforward just me talking about um the little things here and there uh, and just keeping them out of realistic time so you guys will see like a bunch of updates here and there throughout my channel just trying to push out as much content upgrade my content as much as i can um just just the way i possibly can and just like make it more interesting as a viewer instead of it just being you know the same old content just over and over kind of want to switch it up here and there and just like learn a few things in adobe premiere if you guys didn't know i use adobe premiere to edit my videos so i just try to like um expand on my knowledge and uh try to improve my content i might do some some things here and there but definitely if i do get a mic um for sure i'll be able to record content with the uh, people in my party um on xbox so that would definitely be fun and it'll be something that's different instead of me just 
me by myself i'll have some people uh playing the game with me you can hear them rage talk about we'll just talk about random shit funny moments type of deal uh i'll see what i can do but yeah um that's gonna be it for the video guys hope you guys did enjoy this type of video and make sure you do enjoy this new bison class setup he, that he gave me and everything like that uh make sure you do leave a like on this video make sure you do subscribe helps me out as a content creator we're almost we're almost at 500 subs so hopefully we can reach it uh within a few days that would be greatly appreciated and uh, make sure you do turn on your notifications as well so you guys don't miss out on any new content that's coming out in the future and uh yeah that's gonna be it for the video guys i'll talk to you guys in my next video peace out guys